Today on Train for Life, I'm going to show you how to sleep your way to greater fat loss. So grab a pillow and let's go. Hi, I'm Jeff McDaniel, and most people are aware that we should get good sleep, but they have no idea to what extent. We're talking about seriously reducing things like diabetes, heart disease, and I'll bottom line this. You get less than six hours sleep, you're pre-diabetic for the next 24 hours. That means you can forget weight loss or fat loss. Your fat burning hormones are shut off. Your immune system is compromised by 25%. Bad sleep means bad hormones. You're sick more and you're setting yourself up for some serious health issues down the road. Now the flip side of that is if you get good sleep, it reduces stress, improves your mood, boosts cognitive function. You're able to think more clearly, you get along better with people, and you're able to perform all the daily functions at a much higher level. Now when it comes to the topic of weight loss and fat loss, sleep directly impacts our body's relationship with the hormone insulin. That means good sleep, good blood sugar levels. Bad sleep and your blood sugar levels are completely wrecked. So I want you to create an environment around getting great sleep. That means your bedroom should be cold, dark, wear earplugs and eye masks if you have to, but set yourself up with an environment that gives you success and awesome sleep. So here's your sleep slash health assessment. One, you should be able to lay down and not have to move within the first 90 seconds. Otherwise, your body's not comfortable. Two, you should be able to fall asleep within 10 minutes of putting your head on the pillow. Otherwise, your body's not prepared for sleep. Three, you should be able to ideally sleep seven consecutive hours. I know it's difficult for some people, but not have interrupted sleep. Four, you should be able to wake up without an alarm clock that tells you your body is rested and also a bonus, wake up with energy. If any of those things are off, that's what I want you to work on and I want you to prioritize your sleep. Matter of fact, make it one of your highest priorities starting today. So here's your game plan for better sleep. Number one, no screens after 9 p.m. Our society obsesses over screens of all sorts. It's an addiction, it's absolute auto worship and I've been guilty of it in the past myself. But staring at a screen before bed is gonna eliminate that melatonin surge that your body needs to get into sleepy time mode. And I have people, I've had clients that will pop melatonin supplements and then stare at a screen for hours and wonder why they can't get good sleep. That is something you can manage in your life. Look, sleep is where your body heals each night. Sleep is where your hormones are regulated throughout the night. And the bed is the desk in God's school of humility. This is actually part of God's great design for your health, your mind, your spirit, and we need to prioritize our sleep as well as our health and our career. God can do more when you're asleep than you can do when you're awake. Tonight, I want you to game plan out your sleep. Pray to your creator and designer that God will heal your body, teach your mind, and allow you to wake up energized for the plans that he has for you tomorrow. And I'll see you next time on Train for Life.